Hello. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's going to be watching this morning, but I thought it just might be. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I didn't think it would be really interesting for people to sit and watch me do my drag makeup ready for Bolton Pride this very afternoon. What I thought was I needed a bit of company because Stuart's normally here. Uh, when we're doing a Pride, like he might come the night before. <clears throat> um, and uh, and then we sit on opposite ends of the table here and uh, do our makeup together and have a laugh and have a chat. Anyway, as it turns out, Jason had arranged this. Uh, it's fabulous, really. Um, sponsored at sale at um, the Cold Hobbs and Muller. And then, like a daft egg, completely forgot about it until last week. And he was like, <gasps> oh my God, it's the same day as Bolton Pride. Um, and of course, you know, he would normally take us and take pictures and uh, all of the above. If anybody knows a trick, by the way, with these, the um, the NYX uh, pencils that are actually like plat. I mean, I've, how far down can you sharpen them? Have you any idea? Do you know? Morning, Bobby. Um, I was bored in the kitchen, sweetheart. Like bored on my own because Stuart's normally sat sitting there talking to me and I'm doing a new um hiya Michael I'm doing a new uh routine today because we decided we were going to do um pride makeup so usually I'm very very stuck in my ways with my makeup very stuck in my ways, as Stewpot will tell you. Um, but since Stuart is actually, he's like watched a lot of um, YouTube videos and stuff on uh, makeup routines, which is why he now does such fierce um, what I would call modern drag uh, makeup and I'm still very much an old school girl uh, with my kind of routine although I've got that off him you know that I never used to do that but it does it is actually effective because it, it looks like it extends your um, eyelashes once you've got them on, <clears throat> I'll go over it with powder. Just eyeliner first. And not all of my makeup is uh, yet uh, vegan. <clears throat> it's, this is horrific. I've got some stuff in this makeup case that I've had over 20 years. I know makeup has a sell by day and everything, but most of the stuff I'm using now regularly for drag shows and stuff is either new uh, and very old right <clears throat> that's my kick out it's done And now for a bit of a smudge. Where the hell is my smudging brush? Oh, smudger! I know you're there somewhere, honey. Don't hide from Mama. I need you.
Sanchez. Thank you. Smudger. Just basically a bit of hard form. Um, a top a wooden stick. Ah, never. This is the fun part. What's that? Get off me. Yeah, so we're usually chit-chatting, gossiping, you know, about this and that. Um, Stu and his lovely mum. Like, actual biological mum, not his drag mum. Because <laughs> I'm sat here. Um, are picking me up at one o'clock. And we're on at Bolton Pride. Um, at 2.35 on the main stage. In the town centre. And then half past three in the shopping centre uh, stage. Um, so we're doing four numbers on the main stage. Good job I remembered to do my powder before I started smudging my eyeliner. That would have been a catastrophe. Although, you know, a lot of drag queens, even Stuart, now, do their eye makeup first and then put the base on. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I've, I've had to, I've, I've got a vest on, but I've got the sleeves off so I'm wearing it as a what they're called bulb tube I'm wearing it as a boob tube and a very clever I thought right how can I how can I broadcast live and have a bit of company and then have enough power to take the phone to Bolton so I've got the phone on a little tripod here and um, it's plugged in so it's not going to lose any power, which I'm very pleased about. Smudge, honey. Thank you. So yeah, I've always been, I've always had the same makeup routine, basically. Um, which is very 80s, really. That's my neighbour, Sally, did you hear her then? I am woman, hear me roar. She crazy. Right, so the plan is today to do the rainbow flag. Red orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That's the plan. Whether that's what happens here, I don't know. But I'm gonna try my goddamnedest to do it. Right, now, is that a good yellow? I wonder. I wonder. It's frightening. So red, orange, yellow. So yellow. Um. Okay. What about what about that yellow? That seems quite old. Let's try that one.
it. Ah, yes, that gives it a nice little bit of goldy. A goldy hue, which it kind of needs. You see, it's not fantastically yellow. Um, but it's okay. I just got to layer it up. That's what it is. Layer it up, Karen. Right. Now, try going over it with a bold yellow again and see. Yes. Well, I'm glad I'm, it's only like one band of each colour because that was tough. Right, that's the yellow. And I might have to go over it again, uh, but now the orange. Again, I hope this is really bold. It's not that bold. See that underneath? I think you'll be able to see it better once I get it on the top. We've got nothing to hit but the highs with a click. So yeah, Jason is um, at Hobson Moor today with uh, 20 wonderful people who are doing a sponsored ab sale on Mind. Mmm, that red on the outer of this eye is going to make my eye look sore. My rat. Right. Now, here's the problem. The only red, what's in here? It's pink. The only real red I have is more of a pink. But I am mixing it with the black over here i'll go over with the 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 cat's eye thing <clears throat> with black so that might make it look more red it's the only one i've got anywhere that's uh suitable for the occasion so i'm gonna have to do it Red, orange, yellow. Don't forget, this doesn't look really anything like it will yet because I haven't got my eyelashes on or any of that stuff. And I now have to do... Um, I can goddamn find it. Black. 
all rubbed into that edge and then in the socket line. Classically. Like that. Do you see? Hi, Harmony. Um, come back on chat. See, just oh, live chat. All messages are visible. There we go. Fix it. Uh, I'm guessing from your tattoos and what you're doing now. That you do not make the best decisions in life. Well, that's just really rude, isn't it? Whoever you are. And I can tell from a person who just happens upon a random uh, live stream of someone they don't know and says something like that, um, that you are not the kind of person I associate with in life. But have a good day and, and try not to be rude to people. So yes, we shall be celebrating Bolton Pride, which is going to be fabulous. Uh, so that's one eye, that's the uh, yellow, red, orange, uh, obviously no eyelashes on yet, so it'll look very different when there are. Um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Let's see, keep having to go through it in the head to make sure I'm getting it right, randomly. Right, now. Oh, that's a very vivid green. Very vivid. Is it a bit dark, I wonder? What about that one? That's the green. That looks like it might have a kind of metallic. Oh, you'll never guess what, what I've just done. I've just very cleverly kicked Isis's water bowl under the table. So my foot is saturated but that's okay this is why kitchen rolls invented right oh, oh. There. right does that look green yeah it does it does um Probably gonna need another brush now actually to what's on that one? But but what's on that one? Red orange yellow. Ah, I've done that one, haven't I? So let's try that one on the inside of my eye there. Yeah, it's um, it's a vivid green. I'll give it that. And I'll try and go over it with a um, maybe this one, which is absolutely definitely green. There uh, we. Now we're getting warm. Green. That's most definitely green. Very vivid green. Green, blue, purple, which blue? That looks like a nice one. And it looks like it might have a little bit of metallic.
Oh, it is a bit big blue. Lovely though. So yeah, this is the first um, makeup routine outside of my own makeup routine that I've ever done. I never, ever, ever normally change it. But like I said, we had this idea where we were just like, let's do rainbow flag eye makeup. Pride, it's going to be gorgeous. This eye is very light and this one's going to be very dark, especially if I go over that with purple now, which of course I have to do. Well, I have to do the purple. Um... I mean, at least I've got this. <laughs> this is my usual purple anyway, so. that one didn't have the black so if I then Strange. I mean, it is strange. It's I'm totally not used to this kind of look at all. I was going to use um. I was going to use. Excuse me. I'm going to have a drag and roll it. Uh, I was going to use rainbow eyelashes as well, but I don't think so. Um, I just think normal, normal black eyelashes will accentuate this. Lovely. I really need to get in there a bit more, don't I? You'll be swell. You'll be great. Gonna have the whole world on a plane Starting here Starting now Idea of one. I 
I've never been a big eyebrow doer. Just a little hint like, oh, is there an eyebrow there? Maybe. Who can say? Um, and I think, I wasn't going to do it actually, uh, but I think highlighting that with white now, just a thin line up the top there. Wait, wait, you've got to do that. You need to sort that out. Let's get rid of the red. Uh, now, where's my good white? Here it is. I said white, it's more like silver, really. <coughs> and what I'm trying to do is just go just the hardly any at all. Just there, see, just a little, lighting's terrible in here, isn't it? Just a little white, just underneath the, the, the eyebrow. Oh, time went on, quarter past eleven. Am I going to get another session out of these? I reckon so. Yeah, I think so. We'll get them on shortly too. Well, a little bit of green spillage there. And how did I apply the yellow? You see that, right? Got it, got it, got it, good. Uh, so there's my rainbow eyes. Like I say, once I've got the eyelashes on and um, everything else, I should imagine that they will look fine and dandy. Not that one, is it? And then it's, um, in fact, I'll do my blusher now. I am not doing rainbow blusher. Um, let's go for a deep cut today. And because I've got a new wig. Highlighter. It's not bad. This uh, number seven. 
very, very vegan. W7, sorry, not number seven. So it's quite a nice highlighter. when I was a kid. Gobshy it was. Sometimes I really struggle with these and other times not at all. See, it, it changes the whole kind of look, doesn't it? It changes the whole makeup and everything as soon as you put your eyelashes on. And I do actually um, mascara them uh, with, with my own, you know. Because why wouldn't you? Right, that one looks to have gone on okay. So we're pleased, we're pleased with this. I'm getting a sweat spot. Oh, I bought some um, nail varnish from um, Superdrug yesterday. The uh, metallic range. Oh, something else and all. They've got um, they've got a new. Uh, I haven't seen it before. They've got a new um, makeup uh, selection in there. It's not theirs. It's another company called Revolution, um, and quite a lot of it is marked. Some of it's marked cruelty free. Some of it's marked vegan and cruelty free. So, massive bonus there. I was looking at some of it and the um, the eyeshadow pal palettes, actually, you know, they weren't bad. They, they were a tenner. Uh, and I thought that was quite a good um, price. Um, had I had a spare tenner, I'd gone down there with a, a, a finite amount of money um, to, uh, to get tights. Really. Mm. That'll be the last coffee I have until after the performance. Otherwise, I should be piddling all afternoon. Which is not easy when you're wearing a panty girdle and two pairs of tights and tucking knickers. So, tucking knickers for me. Ah, uh, um, an old pair, a pair of bikini bottoms that are very um, high hipped, and so I took myself and then pulled them up my bum crack, said it then. So my winkle kind of gets pulled up my bum. It's awful. Honestly, <laughs> and um, the <laughs> uh, the your testicles go back inside, like, you know, like a sumo wrestler does. Because I could say anything.
Yeah, no, it's all right. It's all right. So I think my eyelashes are now on securely. And we just have to leave them to dry for a minute or two before I attempt a mascara. Because I have done it before where I've done my mascara and pulled one of them off. Not pretty. Nobody wants to see that. Um, another product I can uh, massively recommend, but I suppose it depends how how you feel about uh, Kat Von D. Um, but this here, it's called, I think the colour's called Roxy, is my uh, Kat Von D um, lip liner. And it's brilliant. It's so good. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Kat. It, well, do you know, honestly, when you first start doing it, it is a bit uncomfortable and you can get terribly, terribly caught off guard because once you're in drag, if you sit down very fast or you've already sat down and you cross your legs in a certain kind of way. Oh, that's coming off. Uh, in a certain kind of way you can uh it's like being kicked in the bazookas really a bit of extra glue on that one as it is coming away from my eyeball now stick honey i'm gonna need you to stick there okay for the rest of the day. Uh, yeah, that uh, that Kat Von D is uh, brilliant. And um, have any of you heard of Give Face Cosmetics? And they've now got a wig company and all called Give Head. Um, which is fantastic. In fact, if you saw <laughs> the last Vegan Queen's recipe video, um, <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Uh, if you saw the last Vegan Queen's recipe video, beautiful um, lilac curly wig that, that um, Mavis wore with the mousy roots, that's from Give Head. But Give, Ca Give Face Cosmetics are all uh, vegan and cruelty free. They do some fabulous things. Um, Hmm. I bought these, do you a, a palette each for Christmas? Where is it? So this is my Give Face Cosmetics palette. And what you do basically is you go on and you choose your own colours to fill your palette. So can you see them all right? Some beautiful colours in there. Uh, and like I said, I got Stuart one as well for Christmas, and then he got me this, which is the Douce by Juvias, which again is fully vegan and cruelty free. And that's some quite nice colours in there as well. Let's see, none of which I've used today. Right, I think those eyelashes. Are on. It's weird having two different eyes, but nice as well, I suppose, really. Um, right. Oh, yeah, I was going to say about Give Kit. Face cosmetics, they do these. Um, they said about the eyeshadows, they also do these um, uh, liquid uh, oil based lipsticks. Oh, they're fabulous! They're kind of like metallic. I'm a pink girl, always have been. 
so it's hard to see, isn't it? But yeah, they've got a kind of metallic hue. They're amazing. They're absolutely beautiful. The only trouble is you've got to keep them stored up right. So that's a bit of a pain. Just kind of gently touching and hoping that the mascara also works as a binder with my own eyelashes so they stick to it kind of thing I can really see my eyelashes my real eyelashes under this one it's like there almost blonde and then this one's black so the trick is of course to make them black too Sorry, I have to focus on this bit. So we're not having any um, changes today. Uh, we're just wearing one outfit. But it's very, it's a very visual outfit. You might have seen it, you've seen some of our pictures. Um, we've got the eye dresses. Like a big bold rainbow multicolored eye on a dress. Right. Can you see that? There we go. So that's that. That's that bit done. Oh, I keep getting this white spot here. It's not pretty. It ain't pretty, honey. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I might, uh, might do a bit of live in Bolton, actually, at Pride. You know, fat laugh. <clears throat> oh, by the way, uh, Ellie, how was um, Scotland? Obviously you're back now. How how what how long did you go for? Honestly, this trip to Spain for me and Jason cannot come soon enough.
thought they'd done. Um, three days, cool, lovely. Yeah, it's, do you know, it's a place we've never been, Scotland. Neither of us, neither me or Jason. I've not even been to Lake District. Who am I even? Because uh, there's one in the Lake District as well, you know. There's um, a vegetarian and vegan, like, bed and breakfast place. <clears throat> and they do, um, they've got uh, two restaurants that also belong to them. I think one's an Italian and one's a specifically a pizzeria. And a cinema. And you can buy this like weekend whereby you, they do it in winter mainly. We were going to go last year, it was 300 and odd pound I think for a couple. Um, so you go, you have dinner, I think one night in the hotel and then in each of the restaurants on the other nights. And you can go and see a film as well if you want. I love that there are people opening vegan businesses now. Have you heard about, um, oh, what's she called? Heather Mills. She's opened a big industrial park. Northumberland. Somewhere like that. Um, and it's strictly for vegan businesses um, only, which I think is amazing. Lip liner. I'm not going to put the lipstick on yet. That's uh, that's the last thing I'll do. Um, done. Shall I show you the wig? You got a second. I'll go and get it and whack it on and show you. It's very vivid. I might have to get in touch with them, Ellie. Uh, give me two seconds. I'll go and get my. Um, I'll go and get my uh, wig and show you. Show me when I can with it. I'm hoping this is going to be very strikingly visual uh, for today, especially in sunlight. Pop it on and show you. Um, I'm not a wig stylist, so all I've done is put a kind of ponytail on top, um, which I used to do with a lot of my wigs, actually. Let's have a look. No, up, 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 across, centre please darling. There we go. Honey, like manure hair, honey. It's rainbow, honey, honey. <laughs> it's, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's, uh, it's a lace front, of course. Um, because they are by far the best wigs. 
and I can even show a little bit more head there, just a smirch. Do the smirch, clean and jerk. He thinks dynamic tension must be hard work. Yeah, it's kind of cute, isn't it? I do love this kind of frizzy, you know, wild on top look. Um, so yeah, this is a this is a new wig. This will be the first time uh, wearing it today. Um, I got the um, I got I got the jealous vibe. Stuart were buying that many wigs, and they were all bloody gorgeous from this company, same company. Um, you know, all uh, all Stuart's. Um, Candice and Unicorns, it is very, isn't it, actually? Uh, all the all the gorgeous kind of short, curly wigs that um, that Mavis wears are from this same company, Webster's Wigs. And I went and had a look and I saw this one. And I just thought, do you know, if you're going to get a bold, if you're going to get a bold wig, uh, I might as well get something like this because it will become my, um, my kind of pride special, you know. This will... I will, I, I, I'll always whip this wig out for prides. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a lovely bunch of colours, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want it on yet though, so. Oh. But I do love it. I do. Uh, so yeah, quarter to twelve, Stuart is man picking me up at um, one o'clock. I could do with blending that a bit really, but I don't want to because I don't want to lose the the bold effect of it, do you know what I mean? It's, um, it'll have to do, that's just the way it is. Some things will never change. Remember that song? It's just the way it is, some things will never change. Hello, gorgeous. You okay? Ooh, wow. Come here. I'll take them here. Mm. Yeah. There you go, lovely. It's warm out there, isn't it? Be careful of your ears, darling. Yeah, so pink lipstick will go on there. And then, uh, obviously, the wig. And uh, some jewellery. Oh, yes. I knew I had something to show you. So, Stuart also got us these for Christmas. Sugar and Vice. Uh, necklaces with our names on them so obviously he's got creeping my asthma and we're going to be wearing these today as well for the first time I've got Gemini Andro Gemini Andro baby I mean my full name is actually Gemini Andro Jean but I shortened it to Andro a few earthlings because I didn't want to upset you Know what I mean? Yeah, it's cute. It's real cute. Might want shortening. A bit. No, no, no. Wear it as a, a long dangling necklace and then wear something else as the kind of glitz. And I'm not sure what earrings I'm going to be wearing today. Is The thing is, Colour, I don't have to be wary of colours today because every colour is bloody rainbow. On my eyes, in my ear, on my dress. Um, so yeah, don't have to uh, worry about I can start putting most of this away now actually. Which is good. I don't think I'm going to have to go over any of that again, necessarily. Nah. Nah, it's great. It's 
So I've started doing now, because I was so sick of always fishing in my massive makeup brush to find my brushes. I now keep my brushes separate in a little case. Yeah. Just helps keep you organised, you know what I mean? And eyelashes as well go in that same box, but definitely brushes. Right, I need to take eyelash glue because you never know when you're going to have a catastrophe. So I need to take eyelash glue. I might take that one as well. Um, I'm all right, powder-wise. Uh, maybe, maybe a little hint more of that. Yeah, it just fills in that space lovely and kind of highlights the eye a little bit more, that white. So I realised, I used to do very, very ba basic uh, makeup. Good, it was all right. I was going to say good then, it was good. It was all right. Um, and then uh, years ago, and years ago, and years and years and years ago, uh, I did some um, modelling for a transvestite company called Transformations in Presswich. Um, you'll find me in their TV scene magazine. Can't remember what issue it was. As Annie Oakley. <laughs> um, and then, so I did, I did that for them. And then uh, they were approached by an Italian TV company who, want, who were doing a documentary on um, drag queens, transvestites and the difference, you know. And um, so they asked me to be in that as well. Anyway, there was this guy there, it, also in that same documentary. God, he was beautiful, beautiful. And um, I kind of copied his, I watched him. We were sat next to each other doing our makeup and I watched him doing his routine and worked out this whole kind of, because usually I'm white there, black exactly where it is, purple blended, pink kind of or turquoise there and white above, but a much bolder white above, quite a big segment of white above, that's usual. Um, and I got that routine really from him and the poster of Marilyn Monroe in the bedroom. Have I been online an hour? I'm a bad girl, drunk by six, kissing somebody else's lips. I smoke too many cigarettes a day. I'm not happy when I act this way. And if any of you know Madonna, you'll know that that was a lyric <laughs> from one of her fabulous songs. I'm very excited about wearing that wig today, but I might have to um, spray it, if only with a little super drug baby lotion in a bottle and a load of water. And then that wasn't just, that was an unnecessary hand movement. Um, and if you spray wigs with it, especially when they're new and they have that kind of sheen to them. It dulls that sheen a little bit. And when it dries, it gives the wig a bit of kind of body. It adds, it adds a bit of, I suppose, greasiness to it. You know, like somebody with really good thick hair ever so slightly greasy and their hair looks fantastic. A bit like that. I really don't like this um, odd thing. It's very strange. Very strange indeed. Curiouser and curiouser. So 
So. My jaws flattened slightly, just slightly. I want to blend too much there, just so it dulls it down just a smirch. Do the smirch clean and jerk. He thinks dynamic tension must be hard work. Such strenuous living, I just don't understand. When in just seven days, oh, Paul, I can make you a man. You know when I said that was going to be my last coffee? I lied. I've just decided I want another one. Just right now, decided I want another little coffee. Because they're not picking me up till one o'clock. Um, I've got to get all my undergarments on soon. So that contains, that consists of tucking knickers first, they're the first thing on, then two pairs of tights, then a panty girdle, then me, I, I wear a long bra, because it kind of meets the top of the panty girdle, so that's good. Um, And then, and then the bits, bits. I've got some um, long white gloves as well because the dresses are sleeveless. Beautiful, but sleeveless. Um, I think it's that everything in there now that needs to be in there. I don't need anything out of there. I don't need anything out of there. I need eyelash glue, eyelash glue. Oh, do I need lip liner? It's the one thing I possibly will have to reapply at some point. Everything else is set, done. That's, that's me, as far as I go. As far as I go. Right, I'm just making a very quick coffee. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'll be right here. of the Aldi oat milk. I just finished it off in my coffee. You know the Aldi, um, the Aldi oat milk. It's quite nice actually. It's a bit thin, but it's all right. It's all right for coffee to be used quite a bit, which is what we figured out. All right, something very concerning has just happened. I leant over there to put me thing in my box down there, my empty can't milk. And a sunbeam hit my arm and it was boiling out. Boiling out. Restrictive underwear and tights and full body garb that squeezes you really tight and makes you dead hot. Full face makeup, a wig, and dancing around on a stage in this seat. I'll be glad when the main stage bit's done and we're in the shopping centre because it's air conditioned in there. Remember it from last year, it would be lovely. So, yeah, do you think, um, I know, tell me about it. Um, Oh yeah, it's Bolton Pride today. Bolton Pride. So it's in the it's right in the um it's right in the town centre, big massive stage in the town centre. And um it's also uh they have another stage in the shopping centre, little stage, massive screen behind you, massive screen with you on it which was fabulous last year. So, what um, what I was going to ask you was, because I think it's, it's fun for audience participants as well, uh, should I film a bit there with Selfie Stick, do you think? Should I do another live session while we're there? Might even start it on stage, you never know. Um, but it'll possibly be in between shows, take me to show you the stage after we've 
uh, come off. Uh, right, well, we'll do that then. We'll do a bit of life, which is why I've got my phone plugged in so the battery doesn't go down. And I know my 4G is stable, although I don't know what Bolton's like for 4G, my lovelies. I think, um, oh, I'm gone. I do that all the time. I have my coffee in my hand and I don't have a drink. I might have to shut this back door now because it's also incredibly windy. Luckily, I've got my tabs on my wig set to the tightest setting. Inside the wig at the back, there are two tabs that you can hook closer and closer and closer to the centre. Mine are almost in the centre. And there's a little brush as well, a little comb in the back that will catch on to the back of my hair there. And there's two combs in the side. I ain't got nothing for those, honey. Ain't nothing going on here. So yes, uh, uh, we will. I will definitely do a bit of... Um, air acts a bit like Velcro. When I've just had it done, like the day after, is the perfect time to do a drag show. Um, because it's really velcro-y. Uh, that's why Stuart's bald all the time. His wigs stick perfectly. Right, my lovelies, thank you so much for keeping me company while I did my makeup. Um, and I, but unfortunately, I have to move from this spot now around the house and do other things. Uh, but we will uh, go live in Bolton, why the hell not? Um, probably after the, the, or maybe even just before the last number. Yeah, in fact, that's what I'll do. I'll go live uh, just before the last number and just prop my phone up on stage and then grab it and take it with us down to other stage. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, I mean, I shall, I shall break all the limbs I can. Um, and thanks for keeping me company while I, uh, while I did my makeup. Much appreciated. Let me get this off here now. And I can give you a bit more of a close-up look, see. Red, orange, yellow. Green, blue, purple. I mean, it'll go very well with the... Um... Thanks, Kat. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it'll go very well with the wig. But it's... Oh, it's bold. And my lips will look tons better when I've got um, lipstick on. Anyway, lovely. Thank you very much for watching. Love you loads. Thanks a lot.